Both forms of reproduction have advantages and disadvantages. For the exam, you need to be able to explain the advantages and disadvantages of asexual and sexual reproduction for any organism if you're given the appropriate information. It's worth remembering that an advantage of one is typically a disadvantage of the other. So let's work through this table, starting with sexual reproduction. So sexual reproduction produces variation, which can give offspring an advantage by natural selection. Asexual reproduction does not produce variation. Sexual reproduction requires two parents, so it's slower as a mate needs to be found. Asexual reproduction only requires one parent, so it's faster and more energy efficient. Finally, sexual reproduction produces a limited number of offspring over time, however, asexual reproduction produces many identical offspring quickly. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your GCSE revision to the next level, head over to launchpadlearning.com and check out our smart learning platform that's been designed to get you top results in your exams. We cover your whole specification and make revision fun with interactive quizzes, easy to follow videos, and more. You'll be kept motivated by your own AI tutor who's here to support you every step of the way. To check it out for yourself, click here. Or click here to keep watching a selection of the videos from our full GCSE Biology course. See you there!